We use chemicals all the time in everyday life. For example, things like pharmaceuticals or plastics and fuels. These are all chemicals that are manufactured in the chemical industry. And the problem with these manufacturing processes is that they often release quite a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So it's a big challenge in terms of sustainability to reduce the carbon footprint of these manufacturing processes. Sure, we can make small changes, but to revolutionize the sustainability of the chemical manufacturing processes, we need to go back to basics, the chemistry. Chemistry often uses catalysts to transform one molecule to another, but most industrial catalysts were developed in the 20th century without many thoughts towards sustainability. Surely we can do better. We have developed a series of novel single atom alloy catalysts, and we have gained insight into how they work using supercomputers. So these materials are alloys, combinations of two metals, in which one metal exists at a very low content, so it's essentially dispersed as single atoms within the other metal. Single atom alloys don't behave like normal metals. That makes it a bit challenging to investigate, but also that leads to their special properties. Single atom alloys use the precious metal at the ultimate atom efficiency, and that leads to their special properties. Energy use is lower, processes are more efficient, waste is reduced and catalyst lifetime is extended. This ultimately leads to greener, cheaper chemical processes. Single atom alloys can be the catalyst of the future. They can transform chemical manufacturing. Single atom alloys can be used as catalysts for renewable fuels, for energy storage and also for pharmaceutical production. We've used a theoretically driven approach to develop new catalysts and this is very promising for the future since it uses fewer resources and leads to faster catalyst design. Real progress only really th comes through collaboration. We've combined decades of theoretical and computational research with fundamental surface science and imaging and uh, real catalyst work uh, with our collaborators who are chemists and physicists to help understand the fundamentals and chemical engineers for the more applied aspects of the project. In that sense, we're really, truly multidisciplinary.